So basically, we're looking at part six of lesson eight on code.org. So I didn't make you do this one. It's kind of tedious. It basically said you wanted to set up so that it was eight um, blocks across, three blocks up and down. And you can see that because the width is set at eight here in binary and also up here. And then three. And then how many bits per pixel? So each color is determined by nine bits. So basically what we have is nine and these three are the red. These three determine the amount of green light and these are the blue. Okay. So looking across, they just wanted you to do all sorts of different amounts of red. So this is all black, everything's off. Then we start to turn on one um, pixel, one bit of red and so on until we have all the red. So the three bits that represent red are one, one, one. Um, so actually that adds up to seven, right? Because zero would be off, so it's zero through seven are the choices. So here's the same thing for green and for blue, okay? So that's black all the way to all of each of those colors being turned on. So we're gonna look over at Delta Math now um, and see the types of problems you're gonna do. So basically here, and this is the way RGB typically works. We actually have 256 values for the amounts of each color. And that's enough so pretty much to the naked eye, you are going to see, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference. We could add more bits, but your eye couldn't tell the difference between those tiny minute changes beyond this. So there's 256 choices. The number is zero to 255 because we have the eight bits. So let's start to translate this. So this is our binary for the red. I'll write it over here. Okay. So knowing my powers, this is one, two, four, eight, 16, 32, 64, and 128. So we'll add up the different um, bits that are turned on. So we have 128, 32, 8, 4, 2, and 1, and we'll add those up. So I'm just going to group things. There's a 10, there's a 10, plus a 5, so 25, and then I add these up, so I have 175. So what we need to do, and this is a little tricky, is we'll turn the red color to what we think it should be. So, and you can see the color on the right changing. This can be a little finicky to get it to be the right number, but there we go, okay? Um, so you see it got some more of like a dark red color. So I'm gonna do the green now, and if I had been good about this, I would've used the right color for these, right? So this should all be in red, which I wrote in green. Um, so we have zero, one, zero, 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 So this is a nice easy one to add up. We have the 64, the two, and the one. So it looks like our green, which this doesn't look like a very green color, um, that adds up to 67. So we'll do that slider. Okay. So we look at this, and this is very red, this side, when we really want it to be, this is very red, when we really want it to be more towards that purple, so we can tell that we need some blue. So we're going to do this number now. So 11010001. One, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one. So I have a 128, a 64, skip the 32, I have a 16, and a 1. So this looks like it adds up to 19... So this looks like it adds up to 209 for this. So let's move that over. And it looks pretty good once I get it. And the computer will pop up and say, you have found the correct color. You may now press submit. So you can click OK and submit your answer. And you know it's the right answer because it told you, but this is the RGB. This is how it will be written with those different quantities of red, green, and blue. Okay, so you have three of those to do. That's it for this assignment.